Hey guys, it's your girl Tamika. So, today I'm going to show you guys my updated shampoo routine. I know it's been a while since I've done one, so it's time for me to show you what I'm doing to my hair as of 2019. <sighs> Not much has changed. I pretty much have been just keeping heat off my hair as much as possible, but as of the past month or so, I've been doing um, more blow dried styles. Actually, I really haven't been doing blow dry styles. I've just been blow drying my hair and putting it in two plaits like this because I'm just really trying not to like touch or manipulate my hair and just let it just do it, whatever it's going to do. Because um, as you guys know, I'm on a growing journey and I believe I want to grow to mid back. We'll see. We'll see once I get there to see if I want to get it going. But mid back is, is like where I'm trying to reach. So maybe this time next year I'll be close to it or either there. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how I shampoo, deep condition, uh, blow dry, and plait my hair up. Now today is protein day, so I'm going to be showing you guys um, the products I use on my hair as far as um, when I do my protein routine. Um, and it was a heavy protein day, so um, I don't do that very often. I probably do it maybe about three or four times a year, but today was that day, so you guys get a chance to see that. Anyways. Um, thumbs up this video. If you want to see more videos like this one, please hit the subscribe button. That way you can stay updated on all of my hair videos and all of the, of the other videos on my um, YouTube channel. And also smash that notification bell because that way you'll be the first to get notified when I upload. But yeah, and also guys, check out my new blog. I have a blog and the address, I'll link it below, is simplytamika.wordpress.com. You guys go check it out. It's going to be talking about, well, it is talking about all of my shenanigans I have going on. A little bit more behind the scenes stuff than what you see in the videos. Ha! So you get to see total me. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I've rambled enough. So hope you guys enjoy it and on to my shampoo day routine. Love you. So it's been a couple of weeks since I shampooed my hair. My hair is itchy and dirty and I'm just ready to get it shampooed and conditioned. So first I'm gonna start off by carefully loosening the hair ties I have in my hair, making sure I don't snag my hair. Now I'm going to loosen my braids and I had to use a rat tail comb at the beginning because the braid had gotten really skinny at the bottom, but it's just easier for me to loosen it with my fingers. It's more gentle too. Oh, my hair is so itchy. Oh, that feels so good. Yes, I'm so ready for a shampoo. And so I'm going to part my hair carefully into four sections. And I'm gonna clip it up and out of the way, each section. It's time, it's time. So I'm going to detangle my hair section by section. And I have my water bottle full of water and I have my wash day wonder, my favorite detangler. It is great for getting all the knots and tangles out of your hair, I love it. So I'm going to generously spray each section with the water all over until I feel like it's really, really, really wet. And I'm always going in a downward motion when I'm detangling my hair. And so I'm going to take a generous amount of the Wash Day Wonder and apply it to the section, making sure I coat as much of the hair as I can. And you're going to see me going back and forth with the pump because I use a lot of the product. You have to use a lot of this product to be able to have it work the way that I use it. So I'm just gonna keep coating my hair with the product and I'm gonna work it in really, really, really well. And if I feel like it's not enough on there, I'll go ahead and put more or either more water, one of the two. So I'm gonna start detangling my hair, working my way up from the bottom to the top, gently combing out the knots and tangles. And I'm using my wide tooth comb there. And I always love to pre-detangle my hair before I get into the shower. Sometimes I do do it in the shower, but most times I pre-detangle before I get in the shower. And since my hair was only uncombed for a couple of weeks, it's not going to take me as long to detangle. But I'm making sure to go over it again and again to get all of the tangles out. Very, very important. If not, I will have a knotted, matted mess. And so I'm just going to clip that up and out of the way. And I've already done the other um, section in the back, and I'm just going to show you guys how I do it in the front. And so I'm just going to spray, like I did before, generously with the water and generously put on the Wash Day Wonder. 
pump, 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 pump. I use a lot of this stuff, but it works like wonders, just like it says, it's amazing. So I'm detangling from the bottom up with my wide tooth comb, getting all the knots and tangles out. And this is an important step that I never, never, never skip detangling my hair. And there is my shed hair from the detangling process. Cool. So in the shower, I'm also gonna do section by section. So I'm going to generously wet each section. I love to super wet my hair. It feels so good. The water running over my scalp, the water running over my hair and just hydrating and moisturizing my hair. It just is the most amazing feeling. I love shampoo day. So I'm going to continue in sections to shampoo my hair and I'm going to be just working the shampoo into my hair in a downward motion and then I'll hold my hair as I scrub the scalp making sure I get the scalp really really clean and I'm using the Paul Mitchell sugar cleanse clarifying shampoo which is fantastic for getting the hair really really, really clean and just getting it to like where it's a clean slate so your products will work properly and so I like to clarify on a pretty regular basis so I scrub so scrub my scalp and just work the shampoo on down to the ends of my hair but always holding my hair so I won't get the hair um, tangled again because I don't like to keep detangling my hair and so I keep working in sections and clipping them up as I go and now I'm rinsing all of the shampoo out of my hair until it's fully rinsed oh i love the way the water feels on my scalp and on my hair it feels amazing that's like the best thing i can't stop saying that so i'll repeat that same process going section by section and scrubbing the scalp and then working the shampoo down to the ends of my hair making sure my hair is really super clean i almost always shampoo at least twice sometimes three times depending on how dirty and oily my hair is and i'm just going to rinse all of the shampoo out of my hair until it's fully fully out and I'm using warm water. Now it's time to condition and I'm going to be using the Redken Extreme Cat. And this is a heavy protein conditioner. I like to do a heavy protein ever so often to make sure my hair stays strong. I usually probably do it about every 8 to 12 weeks depending on how my hair feels. And so this is a spray on uh, conditioner. And I just spray. Well, my spray bottle broke and so I had to pour it out. Which pouring it it works better anyway because my hands are slippery so i just get that product on there really really good and it lathers like it's um shampoo but it, it's not shampoo and so whenever i'm doing a protein conditioner like that i always like to put in addition to the protein i like to put um a moisturizing conditioner on and i'm using a neutrogena triple moisture uh conditioner and it's really really good it makes my hair soft and it's a really good addition to um the redken extreme cat and I'm just going to make sure that I coat every single strand of hair, making sure I use lots and lots of product to get all the conditioner on there really, really good. And I'm just going to clip uh, it up and out of the way. And now I'm going to put the plastic cap on. And now it's time to sit under the dryer for 15 to 20 minutes, getting my conditioner on. How y'all doing? Hey, hey. Now I'm back in the shower and my hair is conditioned, deconditioned. And I'm going to start off with a Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush and I like to wet my hair just a little bit and detangle it just a little bit before I fully detangle and now I'm going to go back through put more water on my hair and detangle under the running water and that this brush is amazing for detangling especially if you have like super kinky hair it really gets the knots out and so I'm detangling starting at the bottom with the conditioner on my hair is a little bit wet and then I'm going to go back and uh, get my hair under running water and also detangle my hair i love this detangling brush it's amazing and i detangle section by section taking my time to make sure i get all the knots and tangles out to prepare my hair for the next step which is to blow dry And that is how much hair came out. Not that much. So now I'm going to be using the Neutrogena, tri the Neutrogena Triple Moisture um, Leave-In Conditioner, which really makes my hair soft. I'm not going to be putting a heat protectant on my hair per se. That The conditioner is going to serve as my heat protectant. I'm just going to work it in really, really good and get my um, ends 
and the rest of my hair coat it and just prepare for the blow dry well this is an air dry because I'm using the Rev Air reverse hair dryer Ooh, okay so I'm starting and I'm taking small sections and I'm using a comb to just kind of like get some of the kinks out as I go oh this thing's so heavy Ooh, but I love it and so I'm just kind of pulsing the um, air dryer and then combing a little bit to get some of the tangles out I don't always do that but sometimes I do depending on what my position is because it's really heavy and so I feel like I need a little bit more conditioner on my hair so I went through and put a little bit more of the Neutrogena Triple Moisture Conditioner on my hair just to make it just a little bit softer I think I was using it too sparingly and I'm going to continue to go section by section with the Rev Air um, Reverse Air Dryer And I'm combing out the section a little bit because I feel like I need to maybe get some more of the knots and tangles out considering that I don't have a comb attachment and I'm using the air dryer. Well, the hair dryer. Is it air dryer or hair dryer? There we go. Sucking it up. <laughs> Let me stop y'all. <laughs> so I'm going to go up and down the shaft, up and down the shaft. And I like to hold the hose because it makes it less heavy. And I'm just going to comb a little bit. I'm still like working the kinks out as far as using um, this hair dryer, but I think I'm getting a little bit closer to um, where I know exactly what I need to do while I'm using it. Holding the hose, look y'all, oh my gosh, what this contraption, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> but I still love it, it's amazing. <laughs> so one thing that I've noticed about using the um, Rev Air is that you have to really, really make sure that the hair is really detangled before you put it in or else whatever tangles go in are going to come out so your hair has to be fully detangled before you put it in so I'm just going to twist that up and out of the way and prepare myself to do uh, another section of hair so now I've already done like the back section I'm just want to show you guys how I do it in the front and with this um, hair dryer, I'm really concentrating on the roots and like getting the, um, the blower right there at the roots and then just pulsing up and down to get the hair straight. And the more I do it, the easier I get. But I'm still learning. I'm still learning, but I really, really love it. And it, you see how straight it got my um, hair in the front. And it gets my hair straighter than a traditional blow dry. It's just I have to really focus on getting it straight on the roots. And look at how long that section is. My hair is really growing. I'm so excited. Yeah, this is the last one, y'all. <laughs> I'm so tired at this point, but I'm going to get through this. And so I'm just kind of like taking the air dryer and just focusing on the roots and kind of like, in a sense, brushing it up and down like the sides of my head to kind of get those roots straight. And it really works when you do it like that. When you hold at the roots and you kind of like work it down, work it down, work it down and work it across. It really works like that. So I've been doing that a lot lately. Yeah. But it takes time. It takes time. But I think I'm getting it. I think I'm getting it. Yeah. I don't think that was quite as straight. I'm going to put it back in. But yeah, I'm so ready to be finished this, y'all. This was definitely a lot of work. <laughs> Woo! That is a workout indeed. So now that my hair is all dried, I'm going to be using the Camille Rose Honey Hydrate Leave-In. And I'm going to be going section by section and applying that to my hair. So I'm going to take the section down. I'm going to get some product in my hands. I'm going to emulsify it and I'm going to apply, apply it generously to that section and all the other sections. And this product is really great. It really softens the hair and it really hydrates the hair. So when I use it, I don't have to... Um, keep going back in and moisturizing my hair like all the time so it's really really good for like my blow dry styles and so now I'm done with that I'm going to be parting my hair into two sections and I'm going to guess what guess what y'all I'm going to put it in my two little plaits so it's just the easiest style for me at this present time I have a lot of stuff going on so I'm going to carefully put my hair into two ponytails and I've already like I didn't say it I didn't show it I don't think I showed it but I um, moisturized that band with some of that honey hydrate so it wouldn't absorb the moisture from my hair I may have showed it I forget 
And so I'm just not too tight putting it into ponytails. You don't want to put tight ponytails because it breaks the hair. And I'm just going to carefully just plait it down. Each section, each ponytail. And that really is all to my hair routine that I've been doing lately. I've just been keeping it simple because I have a lot of things going on. And I don't have a lot of time to do a lot to my hair. But at least this way, my hair is, in a sense, protected. It's like not 100% protected because my ends are down. But it's more protected than it would be if I was just, like, wearing my hair down. This routine is so, so simple. And I'm gonna put a little bit more of that honey hydrate on the ends of my hair to make sure that that gets a little extra moisture. All about length retention, y'all. But I'm so excited because my hair is doing really well with this routine and I'm really retaining a lot of length. So I'll just stick with it because it works for me right now. Woo! All done. Ha <laughs> ha. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. My shampoo day routine and i will be hope i will be posting more videos about my hair and i'm also going to start doing more um like information videos about hair too because i did a series before and you guys really 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 enjoyed all the information i was giving about growing hair and keeping hair healthy so i'm going to continue that series on and um that's really exciting for me because i love helping people i love helping women grow their hair long strong and healthy so yeah uh i guess that's all i have to say about that don't forget to subscribe Smash the notification bell and check out my new blog, simplytamika.wordpress.com. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a fantastic, wonderful, amazing day. Talk to you soon. Bye.